Hello and welcome to this new data challenge 2022. In this challenge you will be predicting score for a medical condition of a patient. You can get link to the data challenge in the description area below this video. So let's get started. So this 2022 data challenge involves regression task and the target variable here is score which captures a medical condition of a patient and there are several independent variables that capture patient related data which can have impact on the target variable. The first variable that you may see in the train.csv or test.csv files basically identifies each patient record uniquely. So the challenge is to correctly predict the value of score based on independent variables. So you can get your data from here. So this is the format of the file that you'll be submitting. One column should be ID and the second column should be titled as expected, which will be your estimated score. That estimated score obviously is based on test.csv file and we can use train.csv to create models. So just to illustrate uh, how this is going to work, you can download train.csv file and read it here. So I already downloaded this as train.csv. So I'm going to open this. So this file has a 4141 observations with 29 variables. If you click on this, you will notice that the first column is ID. And obviously that is not very useful for creating the model. So I will get rid of the first column. So now if you look at data, we have score and then all other variables. So next I'm going to split this data into 80 and 20 percent and for this illustration I will use R part library and then create a tree model and this is going to be a regression tree because the response is numeric score as a function of all other variables so the model gets created and then if you want to find out like how this model is performing you can check it with prediction based on test data. So note that this test data is not the test data that we downloaded from challenge website. So these are like all the predictions for different patient records and while developing the model obviously you want to verify how accurate these predictions are. So once we are satisfied with any model that we have created then we can do the submission based on test.csv from the challenge website. So I'm going to read this uh, test.csv into new so that there's no confusion between this test and the previous test file. It's called test.csv. So if you look at new, it has ID, but there's no response, but you have all the independent variables. So now using this uh, new data and applying our tree model, I can make the predictions and store the predictions in P1. And then we can create this submission as a data frame and then if you look at uh, submission file so names of the two columns may not be in the format that we are looking for so that's why I'm going to rename columns and then write a CSV file it will be called submission.csv now I can go to the challenge website and click submit predictions and upload the file so desktop and then there's a submission.csv. So it's uploaded and then I can say make submission. So based on this submission, it gives me a score of 10.12. And if you go to leadership board, you may not see anybody here because nobody has submitted yet. And whatever I submit, obviously that will not count being a host. So I hope your submissions reach the top tier of this uh, leadership board and note that because this is a regression based challenge, the metric that will be used is root mean square error. So this is the new data challenge. I'm sure you'll find it interesting and it will help you to explore and try various machine learning methods. So thanks for listening and all the best. Mm -hmm.